Hey hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Sagar Prajapati and this video will be solving one of the question in PySpark that is check count of null values in each column in the data frame in PySpark so before going to that I would like to introduce my playlist of PySpark interview question and here I have uh, uploaded more than eight questions as of now and you can see like you know uh, the first question is merge two data frame using PySpark and then using explode column we have one question and then solve solve question using regex regular expression using PySpark then we have couple of more questions which is very uh, you know which is very uh, useful and for the perspective of interview if you are having like two three years of experience then you can definitely check out these videos so let's get started for today's video so the question is you can see straightforward that the ch check count of null values in each column so first of all what we should need we we would require a data set right so let me create a data set for you so maybe you can skip this part or else you can also you know uh, check it how i am creating so the first like what i am doing i am creating three columns uh, so this is id name and third one is age okay and here what i will do so here what i will do i will pass another one and in place of name i will put it none none means null right and here i am just passing some age and in the third uh, row um, third row third row the id will be none cool and then what what will be uh, the name will be like you know john i can pass and the age the john age is let's say 40 years cool and then this is the fifth uh, record and here i will again pass another name let's say alex and here the age will be none and one more record i will pass where i will uh, you know pass everything correct so one two three this should be four actually right four let's say i am passing kim right and age will be two none let's say age will be like uh, 20 cool and it's straightforward i'll create one data frame so right spark do data schema is equal to what i can do id integer right name string comma uh, age integer cool and here i'll just write df dot show i can say right so if i do it then you can see that we have this data now you can see in id column we have one null value in name column we have one null value and in age column we have one null value so what i can do i can actually make it like this so that at least we'll have a different uh, uh, kind of data set now you can see id column have one null name column have uh, one null but age column having two nulls okay so see right now we have three columns so what you can do you can simply write case when write case when you can write it down and you can find out the solution like you know case uh, case when id is none null then you can count it as like this likewise you can do for name likewise you can do for age but suppose you have 20 columns you have 30 columns you know more than like you know more many columns then you cannot write uh, you know each i mean uh, 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 the same statement for for every column right it will kind of i mean not a good way to do right and the query is not dynamic maybe if when the data frame gets changed and again you have to do the changes in your code so in order to achieve that what we can do see there is one uh, um, function columns okay so df dot column means it returns all the column name okay only column name not the data type only column name and if you do here a schema i guess a schema is also uh, you know also okay uh, wait a schema a spelling is wrong right <coughs> now with this we can get the schema of i mean you know the data type and the uh, the data type in the column name but we will but we will use here columns right so columns boleto will have this id name age perfect now what i'll do i'll write here remove karo, df dot select okay cool here what i'll do i'll write for i in what df dot columns right so see this is i is the iterator right so see 
if I just paint it maybe you are very beginner that's why I'm showing this way you know so that you will also understand what will happen see if I just paint I here right so one by one it is going and painting the what painting the column name correct so if I write here I right now what I want to do I want to find out the count so I am writing here count right count of what of this column of this ID column right so I will pass here call function and I will write, write like this and I will make this as a list cool perfect before that what I will do I will import these functions so I will write here pyspark dot sql dot functions import uh, col comma count as of now right run this and store the output of this into one you know into one data frame and try to print df1 dot show let's see whether will it will work or not now you can see it is printing 443 why it is printing 443 because you can see here we have four uh, four values in name we have four values in age we have only three values but here the task was or the ask was to to count only null values right only null value so what i should do so simple eh? we can use case when right so i'll just write here when when c call of i <coughs> is null okay then i otherwise i do not want to do anything and i will print here alias i mean i just write call this function alias of i okay and here i will also add a when so it is just a case when you know condition i am putting over here so let me run this first and now let me run this now you can see we will have only you know the nulls the count of null value now you can see if you can validate here in id we have one null in name we have one null right and in age we have two null even though if i you know if i try to change this like this now what we have now in name we have two nulls in age we have two nulls in id we have one null cool 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 so i can do this again and you can see in the name we have two in age we have two but in id we have only one right so this is i mean that's not a very big problem i would such I, I i would say but yeah at least you will find out something new i believe that you know we can iterate a, a, a number of columns with the help of this df dot columns uh, function and this is the straightforward thing if, if you want to check any other thing then you can check any other thing also and if you want to do any 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 more manipulations over here you can do it right so that's what this today's video i hope that you have understood this concept and please like and share with your friends if you found it useful thank you bye bye